Uh huh. Good night, guys. It's been a pleasure to have you here. How are you guys doing? So far, is it good? Hi, teacher. Yes. Hey, good. Gabby. I have Claudia Rivera. I do have night, Gabby Velasquez teacher. and Claudia Lizette. Good night. How are you guys doing? We miss you yesterday, Claudia Lizette. What's happened to you? Me too. Uh, my uh -huh. work. <laughs> Give me a good excuse, please. <laughs> oh, sorry. I have a lot of work to do, so I bring some um, some of them at you, you home. You brought. You brought. Yes, I brought, and I stay until past midnight. <laughs> yes. Really to finish it. Yes. Wow. Sorry so, to hear that. I miss you too. <laughs> Do you believe her, Gabby? <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know you do. You uh, always will be here, but sometimes it's not possible, right? Right. Yeah, I understand. But I'm so happy that even though yesterday was really difficult for you to be in class, hopefully you have watched the video. <laughs> not oh, yet. And, and not yet, but hopefully you will do <laughs> it. <laughs> and um, well, you're here. So that's I'm so happy that you could make it today. Yes. Right now we are I'm just happy to girls, <laughs> but I don't know. If some boy will arrive, so we're gonna wait for that. Hey, remember, Jaime. guys. Hey, uh huh. Most of the time will be Mr. Jaime or uh, oh Julio. Depends how he feels because yesterday he felt really bad. I think he had a headache, so he said that it was not possible to be for him because of his sickness. But hopefully, he will be okay right now. And hey, remember, guys, that yesterday we were talking about food, right? about uh well you were not here in class uh, at least but gabby do you remember that we were talking about interesting food that we have here in el salvador that we can consider exotic food uh-huh yes yeah right like uh, like lease our eggs and um i washed it right i think so and uh well the lizard itself somebody said kusuko i think yep yeah, uh, there's a Pelway, right? And then, what else that there was, is? Not. Yeah, also there is a Dacuzin, yeah. And what else? Sometimes crabs, right? But crabs in a different way. But I don't know if that's considered exotic. Uh, what else? Well, there are some people that uh, mm, it's frog legs, right? Grilled or also, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, what else? The other one. I have heard about that. Oh, um, deer, you know what oh, deer yeah. is? D-E-E-R, D-E-E-R, you know what deer is? Venado? Um, Venado. Yeah? Yes. And uh, what else, the other one? Ay, yeah, yeah, I forgot that one. Oh, yeah, snake. Peliway? Yeah, Peliway, yeah, but there's another but it's one. it's common. Uh -huh. it's it, no, but you know what? I remember there's another animal that looks like... um. I have, what's the meaning of this guy? What is the name of this animal? Oh, this guy, but I know it's an animal. <laughs> uh, let me check. Uh, 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 uh. Kotus, it's like Kotusa, Kotusa, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think somebody, there are some people that eats Kotusa, but this uh, um animal is like a Kotusa, but bigger, like, like a pig size. But it's a Kutuza figure. I don't know what's, I forgot the name of this uh, animal. Do you have an idea, Gabby, what am I talking about? No? no. Any idea? No? Oh, oh my God. If, if I remember, I will let you know, okay? Because to be honest with you right now, oh God. You know what? One time. What? You're having a romantic night today. You're looking so good. The, you, the first time that she says that in the in one month I mean no <laughs> that means Gabby that no. the whole the, the whole night I'm a completely disaster but now I'm different oh come on no way thank you Gabby <laughs> no I, actually no I don't have any special date no. I wish hmm. but I don't <laughs> nobody oh. no, no 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 i'm sorry there's no flowers no tina no, I, so. I just decided to to do so, something different 
I don't know. Maybe I had time today. Yeah. I have a husband, but he hasn't invited me to anything, so I don't know. No. Mm. <laughs> Maybe a friend can invite me to a cup of coffee for a day. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be well, but thank you so much for letting me know that. Thank you. And and maybe because I make up like in black color in my eyes, that could be the reason. Mm. Yeah, I think so, because the camera sometimes doesn't show all the details. Mm -hmm. But this uh, dark color is like um it seems more. Ah, uh -huh. yes, and I love that color. I love it. I love blue. I love, I love um, green as well sometimes. And also I love uh, purple. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank oh, you sorry. so much. I'm not going to sleep today. I'm ah, just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, nah, just kidding. Well, we're talking about food, guys. And this is really important. But you know what? I think that we have... Um, well, this is weird food, is ethic food, but there are some countries, guys, that they have like a really weird, like like weird food, right, Liz? I don't know if you have a try something different, if you have a chance to travel. But, woo. Yes, two years ago. Where, I went, Liz? I went to South Korea. Because At of South course, Korea, yeah. South Korea, yes, but they eat a lot, uh, something mm, picante. Spicy. Spicy, spicy. Uh -huh. And they have a food named uh, kimchi. Ah, uh, kimchi, yeah. It but is spicy. Really, really spicy. And I don't. You don't like it? I, no, I don't like it. No. For my gastro <laughs> problems would be a completely yes. disaster. Yes. No, <laughs> I will have an ulcer after that. If I can eat it, yes, it's really spicy, and it's made a base of cabbage, right? Cabbage, right, right, and mm. especias, no sé, spices, 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 and I don't know what else they put in. I eating, think, but... yeah, I think they prepare it. They have like a different way to prepare things, right? Yes, yes, and different types of kimchi too. Yes, there is a different mm. type of kimchi, but the red one is. But the... they love it. Love it. Yes, and I we love it. I and don't. you don't? No, 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 no. Yeah, being in another country sometimes it's gonna be difficult, yeah. not only for the cultural weight and the language, but sometimes for the gastronomy problems. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So no, but but you know what? I'm gonna share with you different things. Um, right now I have a special menu from you guys, and I think you're going to remember this. At least, oh, I don't know if when you went to like um South Korea, because there is one dish that I'm gonna share right now with you guys, and I, I don't know, uh, Liz, if you had tried it before. It calls bulgogi. Have you tried that one or no? Bulgogi, no bulgogi, bulgogi. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you try it. Yes, that. <laughs> Uh -huh. That was one of the food I enjoyed. <laughs> Do you enjoy it? Because it is like sweet and sour. Uh -huh. The flavor oh. and I eat with meat of um what with vegetables. With vegetables. And, and mushrooms. And mushrooms, and, yeah. And, so, so I have I have shared right now with you guys uh there's like a typical food for different countries, yeah. Hey, I have Berito, I have Brandy here, Marilyn, woohoo, Anita. Alrighty, so right now, so far, girls, girls night. So far, so far, but I did not better say anything, right? Just in case <coughs> somebody arrives, the name is start with J, right? Alrighty, so girls, I'm gonna have share right now with you, but I'm gonna sh uh, share my screen. And you have it with you just for you to keep it. But let me share right now my screen. Good night, Brandies. Nice to have you. All righty. So, favorite ethnic dishes. We have South Korea, Brazil, we have Morocco, and Singapore. All righty. So, Liz has already been to South Korea. So, could you please be so kind, Liz, to read for me the description of the Bungalji? Um, yes, it's a beef 
uh, marinated with soy sauce and other species. Exactly. So basically, that's the way it is, right? Right. It's delicious. And it's delicious. Okay. It's delicious. This is one of the, of the foods that you say, yeah, we'll try it again. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah. You know, well, that's good. So you see, we cannot testify that that dish exists because Liz has already tried it. Gabby, what about from Brazil, the feijoada? Could you please be so kind to read it for us? Gabby. Gabby. Gabby, 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 Gabby. Gabby Velasquez, where are you, my dear? <laughs> oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. Um, I couldn't. I, uh, no sé, se me perdió algo y no podía entrar. Ah, okay, but now you're, you're back. All righty. So can okay, you see Brazil. my screen? Yeah? The yeah. Brazil one, please. Can you read it for us? Uh, I don't know if it says fiojada. Yeah, fiojada, uh, yeah. Fiojada, a dish made of black beans, garlic, spices, and meat. All righty. A dish made of black beans, garlic, spices, and meat. It, it's, it's like our uh, bean soup, right? Could be. Does yeah. it look like that? Yeah, right. Mm, okay. But I don't know if it's like, uh, it's a black beans, guys. Here, normally, do we uh, consume black beans here in El Salvador? Or more the red beans? More the red beans. Uh -huh, more the red one, right? But have you already tried the black ones? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like them? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's good. They're Very soft. good one. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the I I have tried it in Guatemala mm -hmm. and in Costa Rica because they use it a lot there. Alrighty. Yeah, in Saludaria, being. <laughs> Which one? Where? In in La Bolsa Solidaria. Oh the, yeah! Yeah. The yeah. Gas, uh, yeah they, exactly. You're right about that. Morocco, let's go to Morocco, guys. Uh, Marilyn, can you please help us read the lamb dungeon? Okay, Morocco. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> lamb tajin. Tajin. I stew of vegetables. Vegetables. Vegetables, uh -huh. lamb, fruit, fruit. Mm -hmm. And spices cooked in a clay dish. Uh huh. Cooked in a clay dish. All right. Do you you know? Let me ask you guys. It, does it look uh, yummy? That dish. What do you think? Is it look good for you or no? No, I don't. Mm. Think no. no. Well, first mm. of all, do you know what lamb is? Yes. What is it? Cordero. Oveja. Cordero. Oveja. Oveja. Oh, All right. Yes. And do you know what is a uh, clay dish? No. Uh, um, vasija de barro? Mm. Clay? Clay is barro? Yeah? Okay. So basically, guys, this is a uh, um, oveja with vegetables fruit and spices so it's, it's different it's difficult right because it's sweet but at the same time it could be i think it's gonna be a weird taste right or a weird flavor that we're not used to it well you know what i will try it i should try it yeah i like those kind of uh mixes what about singapore let's go to singapore who can help me read it anita could you please be so kind to help me read it Okay. The Singapore one. Fish head curry, a dish Ooh. made from a fish head cooked in a rich curry sauce. In a curry. All righty. Does it sound good, guys? Should you try it or no? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have, a, well, here in El Salvador, we have a, like a, the fish soup, right? The fish mm -hmm. soup, most of it is made based on the head of the fish, right? So do you think you can try that? Yeah? Yes. Have you tried curry? Curry is delicious. Curry is delicious. And it's also a family of um, curcuma. And it's really healthy. 
So may I ask you guys, because you already have those pictures with you. Hey, welcome, Jose. Welcome, Jaime. You see, guys, I told you, I better don't say girls night because I know for sure that somebody will appear. <laughs> that means Mr. Jaime, Mr. Jose, or Joshua. Okay, so they, do me a favor, guys. I'm going to ask you something about the picture that you have there in your images. And... Uh, a, which uh, of the dishes that you have there are made with meat, guys? Which ones? Bujogi. South Korea. Bujogi, South Korea. What else? Uh huh. Bujogi. What else? Lam tanjin. Lam tanjin. Oh, we exactly. Yes. What else? Fish head curry. Ah uh, no, that no with meat. Meat. Because with and fish, meat. with fish is the only one is that is the last one, right? The, the Singapore one. What about yeah. the Brazilian one? Because it has a I know it doesn't yeah, it has meat, right? Ah, yes, meat. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So may I give, let me ask you another question. Have you ever tried any of these dishes besides Miss Liz that she tried the first one? Have you ever tried uh some of them guys, some of the dishes? No? No. No? Besides Liz, right? Uh, now let me ask you, which ones would you like to try? Which ones? Hey, Dahlia, hey. I would like to try Bojogi. Bojogi, uh-huh. Uh-huh, and, and what else? And fish head curry. Fish head curry, oh. <laughs> Yeah, you 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 can ask Liz. Liz as she already went to South Korea, Jaime, and she can let you know something. What was her um uh, her experience with uh Vulgonji? Can you please share with everybody, please? No, no, tengo que poner yes, video. it's delicious. No, it's yes. the flavor is like uh, sweet and sour. But in the species that they use, um, uh -huh. they, they use and make a, a flavor. I don't know how to how to say, but it's delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. And uh, it it they cook it with mushrooms and vegetables and some videos noodles. 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 <laughs> and they, in other places, ha, they have pizza bulgogi. Really? Yes, I try it too. And, 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 and it's delicious. Is it, yes. is it similar the ingredients or what? No. Yes. The difference is that it's in a pizza the, way. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Okay. <laughs> yes. right, that's good. Yeah, yeah, we'll try it, you know. I will try to exotic food. And this is ethic food, guys. That means like a representative dish of a different countries. And what ethic foods are popular in our country, guys? Ethic foods, not exotic ones. Like at least Yeah, pupusas, a hundred percent, right? Oh, yes. Beans and rice. Tamales. Beans and rice, what else? Rice. Tamales. Tamales, tamales all over the world. Okay. <laughs> How do you say sopa de patas? Sopa de patas. You don't say feed soup, okay? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because it doesn't exist. No, yeah, sopa de patas. And, and when somebody asks you, hey, what? What, does, what is it? You can try describing the, the ingredient, right? Yeah. What, what you can translate is a sopa de res, which is beef soup. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Riguas, yeah. Tortita, nah. tomate, right? Yeah. Yes. What else? Nuts. Nuegados. Nuegados is that. It's, it, it's the Pescado same way. Pescado envuelto. What? Pescado envuelto. Oh, it's, it's a fish covered by egg. There's, there's no, okay. there is no specific way to say it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But it's delicious. It's really delicious. 
I, I like that. Oh, yes, chuco. Well, you have to let them know what is chuco, right? Because you have to make know that is the, the base is the corn, but it's black corn and all the stuff, right? You gotta explain a little yeah. bit of that. <laughs> yeah, but the chuco is delicious. Mm. You know what? I like the chuco that is in San Salvador, but I think there's kind of chuco, but it's more like pink color from in a, a Sulu town, San Miguel, and all those places. But, yeah, I but, it's, but, I, but I think it's sweet. sweet. It's sweet, sweet, right? Yeah, it's and, sweet. Yeah, and I don't like it. Yes. Why? Because for me, it's too sweet. It's too sweet. Oh, okay. And I don't like sweet things. Well, I do like it, but not too much. And my husband okay. loves it. Loves mm -hmm. it. Ah, okay. I prefer the chuco one that he, the ones here in El Salvador with beans and I washed in chili and, and bread. Oh my goodness, this yeah. is delicious. But for my gastro problem, it's not too good. But sweet chuco with um, albaiste? I have never tried that. Try? Yeah, it's but that would be a bomb for my tummy. <laughs> 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 yeah, when I, because right now I have to let you know, guys, that I'm not so good in uh, related to gastritis. I have a, a gastritis problems right now, so I need to take care about what I do eat. For example, right uh, today, my my dinner was oatmeal with a with a mint tea, and my husband won a grilled pork. Right, and I was like, oh my god. Okay, so I had to cook for him, but my dinner was different because uh, in the afternoon, he brought me like a sandwich, a chicken sandwich, which was delicious. And it's not the first time that I have one of those. However, it, it, the, the, the chicken sandwich, it was a spread with the, do you remember guys that would, in the towns and those pueblos, when you graduate, everybody makes a huge, a lot of chicken sandwiches. Yeah. Yes. And do you remember the way that they prepared it with cabbage and mayonnaise and chicken and everything? So that's the way that those um, sandwiches that he brought me are. So they're really delicious. But I think the cabbage with the mayonnaise was not good for me today. So um, I have to like to do something. So I think I'm, if, if I'm not improved, I'm going to go to the gastro because I have to. Yeah, my gastritis is like uh, for a stress. So I have gastritis and I have colitis. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Bad combination. So I had to be careful with what I eat. Hi, but sometimes it's really it's really hard to, to follow the diet. Here in El Salvador is really hard. Especially because sometimes I, what? I like fried feet, fried beans, for example, or you know, French fries with ketchup i don't know i and cheese Woo. oh sometimes i love tamales but tamale has a lot of grease but i love that i love the chipilin ones because it comes with cheese oh yes and i i also i have a long time without trying those but the uh, cambrai ones have you heard about that cambrai tamales no, I never tried. It's a combination of sweet and salty, but I like it. I like them, but it's, uh, but you know what? Um, I have a long time without trying them. Also, I love the pisces ones, but here in San Salvador, because with pisces, they will give you also a tomato mm -hmm. sauce. Yeah. But in, in Usulutan, no. I remember that once my mother-in-law said, hey, I bought pisces for you for dinner. And I was like, yay. And, and, and she put it on the dish and everything. And I was like, what happened? And the sauce? <gasps> well, here in Usulutan, we do not eat them with sauce, with tomato sauce, just like the way it is. Just to, And I was like, ah, no, 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 no. I need the sauce. So what I did, well, I searched for ketchup. Can you imagine? And I put some ketchup on the tamales. And you know what? Yeah. That was a really weird combination. But to be honest with you, they were delicious. Well, at least for me. <laughs> I, I think I was really hungry. That could be the reason why. <laughs> so tell us, guys, what other ethnic food or dishes do we have here in El Salvador? Besides the one that you mentioned. Any other ones that you remember? It's a, it's a 
horchata. Quesadilla. Horchata. Horchata could be a beverage, but it's okay. Yes, definitely. What else? Panes matanina. con café. Yeah. Sanguita con café. Yeah. Gajan Street. Oh, yes. This is a good one. Oh, yes. But they need to know how to prepare it. But it's really good. My grandma used to so, prepare sorry, it. Like, what? Pastelitos. Oh, yeah. The fried, it. The fried ones, right? Oh, yes. Mm. I love them. I love them. Oh, my God. Juca's Halkachada, right? Chuca yeah. frita. Chuca frita. Like with, uh, with, um, with the pork, with pork meat, mm -hmm. and uh, with pepescas, right? Yeah. Oh my yes. God, guys. You're no, you're not helping me at all with my diet. Come on. <laughs> all righty. So we're good about that. But let me ask you guys. Um, have you ever tried... Um, I, what's the name in Spanish? Escargoff? Caracoles. Thank you, Blanqui. Yeah, oh, she knows, she speaks French. <laughs> Exactement, mademoiselle. Escargoff, caracoles, exactly. Yeah. Have you ever tried them? Yes, yes, I did. Escargoff is very delicious. All right. Uh, I tried yeah. them with, with, the, with garlic. I try to uh, um, uh, aceite de oliva with olive oil. Olive, yes, it's, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. What about fried brain? No, no, no. I, I have tried it only once in my entire life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my grandma from uh, from my dad said she prepared it like they were really yummy. You cannot imagine. I didn't know. And it was like a cow brain, right? Cow brain, because sometimes they used a pork brain, but cow brain. And everybody was like, mm, that was yummy and everything. So, hey, grandma, what did you prepare? It was so delicious. It was cow brain. And, I was, and everybody's like, what so you know what <laughs> we were like in the line everybody went to the bathroom immediately throwing out it was like no they were delicious but mm, no that's, <laughs> that's the first and the last time that i have tried them yeah but my mama said that my grandma they used to prepare a really good really good way and they used to sell them in like uh tusa yeah but it was a yeah. long time ago, guys. Oh, oof, live it that way. All right, guys. So um, do you remember or have you noticed, guys, which verb tense I have used to ask you about food? Have you? Have you what? Ever. Have you I ever? Know. Have you ever? What, what kind uh, of verb tense is that? Awesome. Well, I said ever because sometimes I speak like British way, but it's have you ever. Sorry for that. Have you ever. Have you ever. I yeah. What, what is the verb tense? What does the verb tense is? What kind of verb tense? Have you ever. I have you ever. I won't have it. Yeah, that's what it means in Spanish. But have you yeah. ever. Let me write it down. Have you ever? <laughs> have you ever? That is present perfect. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever? Ever and never. Okay, very good. But sometimes, guys, we have to confuse the present perfect with the simple plus, right? So when do we use one? When do we use another one? You know what? We can use um, both of them in the same way and at the same time. But we need to know how and when to use them. For example, we're right now we're talking about food, right? 
and you and yes. we're using the um, we're using this the present perfect but at the same time you use the simple past yeah you can say have you ever no i have never tried it oh yes teacher i remember once lisette said when i went to korea you see simple past i ate or i tried bangoji bangoji right bangoji Bang, yes you see she was using the present the, the simple past may i ask you guys when do you use the simple past what is it the simple past for only one of the time, please. I know that everybody wants to participate, but hold your horses. Okay, I know. know. Bring an event in the past. Exactly, Jaime. Uh, event that starts in the past and ended up in the past. What about present perfect? Um, it's when it's in the past, but when, when you aren't complete. Aha, uh -huh. it starts in the past. You're right about that. But what happened with that? For the rest, huh? The activity is not complete. Completed. It's not completed because? Because it's continuous. Continuous when? Uh, present. Exactly. Very good job. Very good job. <laughs> exactly. So may I give you an example? Let me check. Uh, yeah. I lived in Costa Rica. My mama is there. Hopefully, she's hey, my mama is coming on Sunday. Yay! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I got it. I'm gonna see her. Uh, and um, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. my niece said, "Sorry, auntie, but my grandma's gonna stay with us one more month." And I was like, "No way." And I let her know my two puppies and the cat miss her. And every time that they arrived to her house, they were uh, looking around for her. So she said, okay, auntie, because of the doggies and because of the cat, we're going to send grandma on Sunday. I, yeah, because of you, of course, as well. But because of the pets, I was like, <laughs> ah, thank you so much. You have a big heart. I let her know, you know what? Because we, we fight, but in, a, but in a fun way. You said, no, no, you, auntie, you have to come. My grandma doesn't have a job, but you do. So you have to have your vacation and you have to come with us. And also you can come with all the doggies. You know, like, okay, it's easy to say, but we need to do like arrangements and save money, right? Because dogs and cats, ha, they're like, exactly like one passenger <laughs> so they cost a lot of money mm -hmm. <laughs> yes fine you cannot imagine we were fighting <laughs> but but my grandma is coming my grandma yeah bro, her grandma my mama <laughs> yeah it's coming on sunday so i'm so happy to see her one month passed really fast <laughs> yeah one yeah one month i live in costa rica and in 2006. Okay, I lived in Costa Rica in 2006. What kind of bird tense is this? Simple past or present, or present perfect? Simple past. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, that means I lived in Costa Rica in 2006. May I ask you right now, am I in Costa Rica? No. No, no. I was, right? Yes. But right now, no. Let's use the same idea, but using present perfect, right? Okay, let me do it right now. I have lived in Costa Rica <clears throat> What about us, the other one? I have lived in Costa Rica since 2006. May I ask you, am I still there? Yes. Yes. Yeah, but yes. when I arrived to Costa Rica, when? In two thousand six. In two thousand and six, back in two thousand and six, I arrived there. Right now it's two thousand twenty one, and I'm still there. Yes. So you see the difference? Yes. Yeah. The, what you have to be careful, guys, is with the present perfect. You have to use the past participle of the verse, okay? Never forget that. 
So you can use all of them. Very good. Anybody can give me another example? Thank you, Claudia and Enriquez. Go ahead. <laughs> she was like, mm. uh, thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> hey, guys. Okay. Look at Boy, her. Dennis, uh, the last year. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Last year. Mm -hmm. Now, do me a favor. Can you say exactly the same <laughs> sentence or similar idea with present perfect? Yes, I have played tennis uh, since two years ago. Oh, yeah, exactly. Very good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. But also, guys, remember that uh, with present perfect, we can use ever. We can use since. There's another word that you will use. But also, we can use for. Okay. Let me give you an example with four. Um, guys, at what time the class starts normally? At eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. Very good. At eight. Okay. Okay. Imagine that nobody's punctual and the poor teacher, that means me, <laughs> uh, yeah, 830, that means right now, and finally, everybody appears. And I was like, <laughs> we want to cry. <laughs> okay, okay. So I, I'm, I'm letting you know, guys. Okay, okay, guys. Supposedly, the, the, the class starts at eight, right? And everybody's like, yeah, teacher, yes. Okay, so I've been waiting for you since eight. Or I can say, I'm waiting for you for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. Because everybody's so punctual. <clears throat> <laughs> so you see the difference? You can use things and you can use four. But there's another, another thing that we can use. So I'm going to share right now with you. And I want you, I want to your help, guys. I want your help with this because I need to like, finish these things, this activity is writing activity. So I want you guys to help me finish it either with simple pass or either with present perfect. And also you could be like um, questions or it could be answers, okay? So let me share right now my screen with you and uh, let's double check if we can finish it together. Okay, it's one, two, three, four, five. All right, you see there's like a five mini dialogue, right? So may I ask you, you see guys, I want you guys to take a look at this. There you go, okay, here. You see the verbs on parentheses? Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? Those are the one that we're going to use so we don't have to invent. Those are the one that we're gonna use, but if it's past, past is, is it present perfect or simple past, we need to put it in the right way. So let's just start, we have the first one. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? If I ask Jaime, Jaime, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Yes? Yes, I have. I have. Yes, I have. My family and I? Have been. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, have, have been or ha are you sure have been? Because you have to use have. Mm. Look, is a uh, uh, continue uh, reading that's the whole sentences. My family and I uh, a picnic on the beach last month. This is the clue. Mm -hmm. This is la pista last month. So what do you think? Are you gonna use present perfect or are you gonna use simple past? Simple past. Exactly. Simple pass, very good. So can you finish the sentence, please, Mr. Jaime? My family and I had a picnic on the beach last month. Uh -huh. We, continue, Jaime. We cooked hamburg hamburger. We cooked hamburgers, very good, <laughs> excellent. All right, excellent, good job. So we passed that. <laughs> Josue, have you ever? No. Sushi? Hey, this one, if it's present perfect, guys, or simple pass? 
Present perfect. Present, Present perfect. perfect, Josue. Okay, so can you try the, the question, Josue, please? Have you ever? Uh, have you ever tried sushi? Oh, very good. No, I? No, I? No, I haven't. I haven't I or I like have never. To... You can say I have never as I well. I have never. Okay. But? Okay. But I like to. I like to. Very good. Mm, it's really delicious, guys. That's one delicious. of my favorite foods. Yes. Okay. Number three. Uh, 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 Liz, number three. Did you? Did you have breakfast today? Very good. Did you have breakfast today? Breakfast. Yes, I. Yes, I have. Uh huh. I, I had. A, I had. <laughs> I ate a huge breakfast. A huge breakfast. Huge. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. Number four, Gabby. What about you? Have you ever? Okay, have you ever ate Mexican uh -uh. food? No, remember, eat. with present perfect, you use past of the verse or past participle? Participle. Exactly. So have you ever? Eaten. Yeah, very good. So do it again. Have you ever what? Mexican food. Very good. Yes, I? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. In fact, I ate mm -hmm. some just last week. Very good, excellent. And last but not least, Dahlia, what about number five? Miss Dahlia. Sorry, sorry. That's okay, girl. No <laughs> yes. problem. Yes. No, 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 no. I put much. Okay. Did you drunk? No. Coffee? No. Why? Why drunk? Did you? Did you drink? drink did you drink? Did you, yeah. Did you drink? Yeah. But sorry. Did you drink coffee this morning? Uh huh. Yes, yes I, I have. Uh huh. Had. I. Uh -huh. I have some. I had some, my, yeah. Uh, some on my way to work. Very good, excellent. So you see, guys, how we can combine both of them? Present perfect and simple. Part. Yes, got Cloudy, go ahead. I have a confused. Don't worry. No question. And yeah. and the last sentence. Mm -hmm. Did you did you drink? I think that it was. And the answer, why, why, can I say, for example, yes, I did. If, if you ask, did you have, did you drink coffee, for example? Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You can say, yes, I did. Yes, I had. Yes, I drank. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can use it. Yeah, not a problem. All righty, guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, so, uh-huh. May I ask you something, guys? Have you ever had coconut juice? Yes. I have. Yes. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, uh, delicious. Yes, I like. So refreshing, <laughs> delicious. It's, it's so refreshed. I think it's a natural Gatorade, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, lucky you, because I cannot drink coconut juice. Why? 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 Because um, being a teacher, call center agent, and other stuff that I've been through, uh, I have used my throat a lot. So, mm. so because it's really fresh, doesn't matter if it's cold coconut or regular or natural coconut, it's really fresh. If I drink coconut juice today, I'm not going to give you classes tomorrow, guys. Really? Oh. yeah because i can't that i have like if i drink one glass of uh, coconut juice i have a source for problems mm. yeah and i love it Sorry. i love it well i i still i can eat the, the meat right and it's really good but mm -hmm. yeah if i if i had another job maybe but um even though i have another job uh, i still use my 
my voice <laughs> so I cannot and I love it when I was younger woo, every weekend I, I drank a lot of cocktail juice but no anymore no, not even uh what is watermelon I cannot have more than two pieces of watermelon because of the same thing and because of my sinus problems because it's really mm -hmm. fresh and acid mm -hmm. so now mm -hmm. you see that is the worst thing of getting older right think right guys yeah but maybe yeah. you use Alternate. sorry I, I maybe i think you use your voice a lot of a lot maybe you yeah a lot, a lot. yeah a lot yes yes giving classes in the unit and uh and also because i have been working in a call center for around 10 years mm -hmm. so no way i need to like take care of my sore throat a lot you know yes i drink regular water teas and everything because if not ah I, I could have like a worse problems so no mm -hmm. way yeah yeah so I have to, because ima yes. imagine all the time I was in a hair conditioner, but the air conditioner was like being in a fridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because of course, when you are in the platform, there is a lot of computers, right? And uh, more, more than 100 computers. Yeah. And, uh, and of course, it, it needs to be really cold. So can you imagine? So well, for example, when I was like... Um, because I have a different schedules sometimes. Right now, due to our quarantine, we have to work from, from home, right? But uh, most of the time we need to work to the, uh, going to the site. So basically I had my jacket or my sweater or my scarf on my locket, in my lock. And even though I was swearing like a pig, right? <laughs> but mm -hmm. I put everything on before getting to the platform because I was really hot and sweating a lot. And in the platform was really cold, like the fridge, that mm -hmm. it would be like a chuck of temperature, right? Mm -hmm. So I had to do that. And also when I finished working, eh, maybe at five, six, whatever, eh, outside sometimes it's still hot. And I was coming from the fridge. I Sometimes I felt like a penguin, you know? because of that. So in the meantime, when I get climate, climatar, when I get climate, uh, I still have my sweater, my scarf, my everything. And then when I was start sweating, I said, okay, now it's time. You know what? I remember once I was working in, a, in, a, in an airline and my shift starts at 4 a.m. in the morning and ends at 12 noon. So can you imagine being on a bus, on a bus or a micro bus, arriving to the downtown of San Salvador? Can you imagine 12 noon, right? It, with, a, with a scarf, with a jacket, with a hat, and everybody's looking at me like, what the <laughs> hell is happening with this girl? It's still noon and she's covering that she's coming from the North Pole or something like that, right? <laughs> but it's because it was really extremely, sometimes it's, it was really cold, guys, that I, could, I couldn't I could feel my fingers. Mm -hmm. So can you imagine if I like, if I just went to outside and took everything out and then being like that on the bus, oh. I, could, I could get a sick, especially, yeah especially my lumps, my pulmones. So I need to take care about my health as well. So sometimes everybody was looking at me because I was the only one with sweater, with a scarf, with hat on a micro bus at 12 noon. Can you imagine? <laughs> but as soon as I ride back to my house, I just take everything out. Yeah, so that's why I'm so delicate about my, mm. my throat. Yeah, so I'm sorry. If I make you feel like, eh, stop talking about you, teacher. Okay, I'm sorry about me. It's just, it's just a brief history about <clears throat> my my jobs. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let me double check something. Very good. So I well, I'm so glad that you can eat that. May I ask you guys? Do you remember that I told you that you need to start thinking about? Uh, sorry, guys. I know I'm not dancing. I'm just like. 
and make myself a little bit comfortable. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I have to let you know that. Um, so, do you remember that I told you guys that you need to start thinking about a, a recipe? Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Claudia is like, mm hmm. Uh, <laughs> all right it's because you're gonna you're gonna use it as well but well guys um you won't be able to to explain your recipe if you don't have a vocabulary to support it right so yes. it, today what i'm gonna do i'm gonna give you an extra information you will um i teach you about simple past and present perfect because to be honest with you you will need it you will need it for this exercise. But also guys, before we move on, I almost forget to show you something. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, this is going to be so much fun. This guys, I'm gonna show it to you just like a brief recap and review, just for you to have like a um, general idea about all the scenarios possible that you can use the simple past and the present perfect, because that will help you a lot for the exercise that we're about that we're going to do tomorrow. <laughs> Not tomorrow, no. I'm going to leave it to you for, for, for Monday, okay? I'm going to be nice. I will give you time. But let me share right now my screen with you. There you go. Okay, can you see it, guys? Yep. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Imagine that in the middle is me. Okay, imagine that, right? <laughs> She's younger, but use your imagination. All righty, guys. So we have here... In the left side, you have the, the formula at the beginning of the simple past, which is basically, guys, subject plus the verb in ED. Of course, right? If it is like a regular verb. If it's a regular verb, you already know the, the difference. And the present perfect, the formula is subject plus have or has, depends, and plus the verb in ED, or yeah, if it's regular or irregular. So guys, we have three scenarios that you can use the simple past. One, two, and three. Who can help me read the first one? Let me see. Uh, 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 uh. Hi, May. Can you please be so kind to read it for me? Oh. The, the simple pass on the left side, please. Express finish time. Okay. We live in Japan from 1995 to 1998. Very good. May I ask you guys, uh, do they still live there? No. 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 It was no, it was something that was in the past, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So, guys, yeah. one of the first things that we can we can identify when do we use one pertinence or another one is what is exactly what we like to say. If we would like to talk about um, unfinished or finish uh, activities, you gotta use a simple past. But if you want to describe unfinished time. You gotta use the present perfect. Jaime, can you please be so kind to read for me the present perfect, but describe unfinished time, please? Okay, I work as a teacher since 2011. Very good. Guys, according to the sentence, when do I start my teaching career? When? In 2011. In 2011, you're right. And may I ask you, Right now is 2021. Am I still a teacher? Yes. 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 Exactly, because it's a, it hasn't been finished. You see, this activity is started in the past, but it still has some uh, influence in the present. Very good. What about the second uh, uh, scenario? And uh, who's going to? Blanky, can you please be so kind to read it for me? Past, yeah. simple, refer to definite time. I saw the Eiffel Tower in 2007. Exactly. You saw the Eiffel, the Eiffel Tower. Very good. Eiffel. That, exactly. That means that back in 2007, you saw that a, a statue, right? Or a, this, this is a monument, right? That it represents <laughs> France. Is that correct, guys? Eiffel yeah. Tower is in France, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You can also use exactly the same idea, but in a different way if you're going to use present perfect. Refer to indefinite time. 
Blanky, can you please read it for me, the present perfect section? I have seen the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Very good. Guys, if you see on, this, on the present perfect, you can notice, guys, that you let me know that Eiffel Tower is a monument that you have seen it. But may I ask you, do you let me know when you've seen it? No, right? You don't give me a time, is that correct? Yes. You're just yeah. letting me know that there is something that you already know or do you already seen, but you, yeah. you do not give me a specific time or a specific year or a specific month. Mm -hmm. you see? Very good. And the last one, indicate series of finishes action. And let me check who can help me read it. Uh, Claudita de Hernandez, please. Oh, de Enrique, sorry. Whoops. Yes. <laughs> Um first, first simple pass, yes. Okay, first you read the book and uh and, and then uh, okay, and then he watched the movie. Very good. So first he did this and then he did that. Okay, what about the same idea but express experience or result? Uh, 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 also Claudia, please. Uh, okay. She has already watched this uh, this movie three times. Very good. If you see guys on the present perfect, first of all, she doesn't let me know the which movie because it's supposed that we are we know which movie we're talking about. But if you see guys, he, she just letting me know only the times that the person has seen it, but it doesn't specify when that person saw the movie on the first time, on the second time, etc. So you see the difference about present perfect yeah it's not complicated mm -hmm. any questions guys so far is it good <laughs> are you sure dahlia <laughs> yes i need some more information yeah no, no? but uh, okay. i try to to learn okay okay would you like it's confused to but, but it's confused it's, what is confused yes yeah, it's Oh, it's confused about the what time you use is only for the past or or no. Do you remember? Uh, well, one clue that I can give it to you, Dahlia, is that if you're talking about the past, you're gonna use simple past, but mm -hmm. most of the time you need to specify when you did something, mm -hmm. the year, the month, etc. How are you? Yeah. But in present perfect, oh, it's not necessary. It's like a general way. Yes. Oh, this is your husband, by the way? Hi. Yes. Hey, nice to meet you, sir. It's my, my, my husband. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm telling him that he looks junker. Yeah. Oh, you see? Yes. <laughs> junker is because I try very... No, I... I uh, trata bien? You treat him well. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. guys, listen. Listen carefully. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? And another way that you can treat him good is take care about his tummy. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So that's no, why... For everything, not no, no only. Not only for him. Okay. Yeah, that's why yeah. you need to learn how to prepare a special food. I know that you already did, but imagine yes. that you can also make like a commercial, right? Trying to prepare food in, in, in English. That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So is it clear? Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let me let me now let you know something. Um, be honest with me. Who knows how to cook? Or at least do your best. Raise your hand. Come best. on. Come on. Raise your hand. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Claudi. Yeah. Hey, Dahlia. Me. No. Gabby. I want to see you. Blanky. Anita. Come on. Claudia. Claudia Rivera. Elsie. No, Elsie. I know I cannot see her. And, all right. All right. Josue, I know that he cannot cook. You said, but he's doing his best. <laughs> Julio, what about you? Hey, Julio, you know how to cook, man. Why are you doing it? Ah, uh, it's because he doesn't want to be, he doesn't, he's modest, right? He's modest. He doesn't want to be selfish. But raise your hand, please. 
just for counting. Okay, very good. So guys, there's many ways that you can cook the food. Is that right? Yes. Okay. All right. So now let me teach you. Let me okay. teach you some more vocabulary that you can use <laughs> when you're talking about how you can prepare a job and delicious food. All righty. Mm. For example, mm, yeah. Okay, let me share really quickly. There you go. Can you see it, guys? Yeah? Or no? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bake. What is the meaning of bake, guys? Hornear. Very good. Hornear. What is the meaning of boil? Hervir. 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 Very good. Hervir. What is the meaning of fry? Freir. Freir. Very good. What is the meaning of grill? Asar. Asar. Yeah. What about the meaning of roast? Rostizar. Rostizar. And steam? Cocinar. Yeah, very good. Oh my goodness. You're really nice. So do me a favor. Take a look at this. And I want you guys to let me know. We have the method here on my left side. Can you see it? Yeah, we have here. And then we have the, the food at the top. So may I, can you please be so kind, guys, to help me uh, to decide which way we can prepare the things. For example, fish. Can we bake it? Yes. Can we mm. bake a fish? Oh. Yes. Yes. Hornear? yes. Yeah. What about, can we boil it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, if you're making and a soap, soap right? Yes. And soap. Oh. Yeah. Can you fry it? Of course, yes. right? Yes. Of yes. Course. Can you grill it? Yes. Yes. Can you roast it? Yes. Oh, no. uh, maybe not. No. Maybe. What about steam? Ah, yes. roast. Yes. Yeah, yes. right? Yeah. What about shrimps? Yes. Can you bake shrimps? Not really. Yes. Ah. No. No. Oh, what no. about can you boil them? Maybe in a, in a... You can boil them, right? Yes, yes. What about fry them? Of course. Yes. yes. Real? Yes. Yes. Roast? No. No. Steam? Yes. No. Not really. Yeah. No, yes. Yeah. No. Yes. Well, yeah, of course. I'm, yes. Okay, I'm gonna put it. Yeah. What about eggs? Can you bake eggs? No, right? No. no. Uh, can you boil them? Yes. 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 Fry yes. them? Yes. yes. Real? No. 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 Roast? No. 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 Steam? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. They're, yes. they, they're like little liquid, but you can do it. Mm -hmm. It, it is no. not my favorite way to cook them, but you can do it. What about chicken, guys? Bake. Can you bake, bake. Oh, fry, grill, yes, roast, and steam it? Yeah, yes, right? Yes. You all can do it them, basically everything. Yeah. What about beef? Yes. Bake. 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 Yes. Yes, 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 yes. No, but yes. you can roast it. Yeah. But you can um, steam it. Yeah. Yes. What about potatoes? Yes, you potato. Yes, bake, I bake, you can do it, everything, boy, right? Boy, fry, 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 yes, everything. What about onions? Onions, bake, bake, bake boil, 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 yes, boil, grill, yes, grill, fry, grill, grill. Can Rose you steam it? No. Nah. no. Yes. Yeah, but it's not gonna be good. Mm -hmm. What about eggplant? You know what eggplant is, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, berenjena. berenjena. I love berenjena. it. Berenjena. Yeah. Bake. Can you bake? bake. Yes. Yes. Can Slow. you boil it? Oil. Yes. yes. Can you fry it? Yes. yes. Can you grill it? Yes. yes. Can you steam it? Uh, Can you no. roast it? No. no. Not really, right? What about bananas? No. Okay. Bake. 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 Yes. Point. Point. Right. 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 No. 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 No, you cannot steam it, right? No. No, of course not. Who we'll said yes? Come on. Don't confuse the teacher, <laughs> please. What about can you roast it? No. No. No, no right. No. 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 
Okay, may I ask you guys, which is your favorite way to cook? Yes, grill, boil, grill, 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 yeah, grill. Grill. It's Fry. healthy, right? It's healthy. Fry. What about boil? Do you you want to oh, steam it? You do you not like steam food? Steam? Mm. Yeah. Vegetables. Yeah, but you have to have that that little bamboo, right? Bamboo stuff. But sometimes mm. they're like made of metal, right? Which is actually mm. makes exactly the same function. Yeah, but it's really healthy. All right. Okay, guys. We have learned um some information. Tomorrow, guys, I will teach you what is the what was the favorite food for Mr. Elvis Presley. Do you uh -huh. remember Elvis Presley? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All righty. So he was a Hawaiian musician, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So and singer. So I, I don't I don't know if you know, guys, but Elvis Presley had a specific uh, dish that he loved, and it was a sandwich, by the way. So we're going to learn about the recipe of that, how we prepare and ingredients. And also we're going to learn some information that will help you a lot with Monday activity. Okay. okay. <laughs> Guys, I know that you love me and I love you too. Mm -hmm. But you know that it's time to say goodbye. Okay. Yes, thank you. Good night. It's like, <laughs> yeah, bro. Fantastic. I, mean, I know you're so sincere, but please be, don't be too much. <laughs> okay. Ex and kisses. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. <laughs>